In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install and run React.js apps in VS Code or Visual Studio Code. Now, once you open VS Code, go ahead and go to Terminal and create new terminal. So go ahead and take the link from the description of this video and paste it directly into Terminal. Now, this is going to install Node.js using something called Node Version Manager or NVM. Now, if you're serious about web development, you do want to use the NVM instead of just downloading Node from its website because it will allow you to install multiple versions of Node.js and switch between them seamlessly. Now, after that's done, type source and again, just find this line in the description of this video. Paste it. Running this command will actually load NVM, but it actually might not work if you are on the latest Mac OS operating system. It might work on older OS, but let me just clear this. In case it doesn't work, use the Z shell instead. So again, this command is in the description of this video. Just run it here in the terminal. Now to check if we have NVM installed, type NVM dash dash version. And if you see the correct version, which is 0.395, we are ready to create and install a React.js app in VS Code. But first, let's finish installing the latest version of Node.js with NVM. To do that, type NVM install dash dash LTS. And this is going to start installing the absolutely latest version of Node.js. And guys, don't forget to like this video. It helps the YouTube algorithm or even subscribe to my channel. Now, once Node.js is finished installing, type Node dash dash version and you should see the latest version. Now I'm going to change the directory to desktop and I think we are ready to create our first React.js app in VS Code. You don't have to do it on desktop. You can find a safer location on your hard drive and that's where you're going to type the next command which will actually create the React app from the command line. This command is npm install dash g create dash react dash app. This will install the create react app helper so we can create a react app from command line. Now, the way it works is that we're going to call npx command followed by create dash react dash app and name the folder of your react app anything you want. Here, I'm just going to use my dash app, but it's really up to you what you want to call that folder for your react project in VS Code. Now, at this point, your react.js app has been actually installed and set up in VS Code. So we're going to switch to the My App folder or whatever you named your React.js app. And we're going to call npm start. And that's it, guys. This is how you launch React.js app in your browser. But there's one more thing. How do we actually open this React.js app for editing in Visual Studio Code or VS Code? Now open new VS Code editor, go to terminal, navigate to the app folder which was desktop my dash app and to open the current folder you're in on the command line type code space dot and press enter now ideally this will open this project in visual studio code but if it's not opening press Control shift p which opens the command palette in vs code start typing the word shell and then click on shell command install code command in path here, just click OK, then just enter your Mac OS password, click OK to add code to the path, go back to terminal and make sure you are in your current project folder and type code space dot and press enter. Now your React.js project will open in VS Code in a new window. So here under source, you have your app.js file, which is the main application file for your React app. And that's it, guys. Now just go to the folder in terminal and type npm start to start your React.js from Visual Studio Code. Now this already supports hot reload. So whenever you change something in VS Code, it's going to automatically change in the browser. If this tutorial helped you, like this video and subscribe to my channel.